You wonder why the government is lying to us about everything? While the media tries to spotlight President Donald Trump, our southern border is a total disaster. Complete denial from this administration. As we have said multiple times, uh, our border enforcement plan works. It is deterrence, uh, it diplomacy, and enforcement. We have seen we have seen uh, that plan working. Unlawful border crossing have come down to the lowest that we have seen in the past uh, two years. Our approach to managing the borders securely and humanely, even within our fundamentally broken immigration system, is working. Oh yeah, really? Explain this then. According to the CBP figures, illegal border crossings were up. More than 30% in the months of July. That's a summer month when they're supposed to go down because the desert is hot. More than 130,000 arrests made. So please enlighten all of us exactly how you think your plan is working there, Mayor Mayorkas. Here's another one for you. Our infrastructure is completely crumbling. They, they may not be a mushroom cloud over the town of Ohio right now, but just recently we had another bridge collapse. It leaking, it's leaking toxic material into the Montana River. And guess who hasn't said a word about it? Pete Buttigieg. And the rest of the people who want us to save the environment for, by driving electric vehicles. Unbelievable. Join me now to discuss former director of special operations, Derek Maltz. All right, so Derek, our border, they say it, in the summer it's supposed to go down because it's hot and nobody wants to cross the border, but it went up 30 percentage points. So, Paul, thanks for having me. So. Right now, it's pretty sad that America now uh, recognizes that crime and evil are legal in America mm. because, like, there's no difference between right and wrong anymore. The criminals get the advantage over citizens. But here's my question right now, and I would love an answer from Secretary Mayorkas. There's 1.7 million Godaways in America. We don't know who they are, where they came from, but call. Why doesn't CBP publish these statistics just like they publish all the other statistics? In my <laughs> humble opinion, as an investigator my whole life, because they're being deceitful. They're not being honest. They're not being transparent. But here's the sad part, call for every American. Those gotaway numbers are the most frightening and the most alarming because we don't know who the hell is in this country right. and what they're doing here. Well, and Derek, you know, they'll, they'll publish the home addresses of, of lawfully abiding gun owners in California, but they won't publish people who broke the law to get here. I want to get over to New York, and this crisis is getting so bad here. This, you know, he, Mayor Adams is like, hey, we're a sanctuary city. You know, migrant shelters are, he's saying they're now officially out of room, and he admits they need help. We need to control the border. We need to call a state of emergency, and we need to properly fund this national crisis. Uh, we, need, we need help, and it's, it's not going to get any better. Uh, it, from, from this moment on, on, it's downhill. Hand of reality smacks down liberal policies again, Derek. Well, look, this is a self-inflicted wound. When you reverse the policies that work to keep us safe, as Tom Holman and all the experts, Mark Morgan, Rodney Scott, have said that it was the safest border we've had maybe in their lifetime. So ending Remain in Mexico, you know, encouraging people to file false asylum claims, ending catch and release, stopping the wall construction. I mean, does anybody in America think this is logical? When they took over U.S. leadership of our country's national security, yeah. why would you reverse immediately policies that work? And now look what we have going. New York's my hometown. And you know what? They do need help. And I've talked to the reporters that are filming all those uh, people sleeping on the sidewalks at the Roosevelt Hotel in a business district in Manhattan. It's disgusting. And all Americans should be alarmed by what they're allowing. You know, it's, it's, you, you can't even make this stuff up, Call. I don't even know how to explain it anymore because yeah. it doesn't make any sense. No, no, none at all. But uh, we, we, we're going to see this around and around and again, and it's not going to, nothing's going to change under this administration. Derek, we appreciate being here. Thank you, Carl. All right.